This activity seems to be the most frequently done when we meet someone, especially when meeting someone older. Yes, there's a bit of annoyance, but it's undeniable that living in the modern era is easy due to various technologies. One such example in the industrial giant scale, where the work of hundreds can be replaced by super jumbo-sized machines, as we will discuss this time. First, there's the Caterpillar C-17520, an engine for the giant mining truck, Caterpillar 797. No joke, this truck's size is like a two and a half story house, or about 51.5 feet. The load that this truck can carry now reaches 400 tons in a single transport. The Caterpillar C-17520 engine is, of course, jumbo-sized. It's 21.7 feet long, 7.5 feet wide, and weighs up to 51,800 pounds, equivalent to 12 units of the all-new Innova. It can hold up to 28 gallons of fuel. The power it can generate is up to 5,630 horsepower, seven times more than an F1 engine. However, despite its strength, this engine can only propel the Caterpillar 797 to a maximum speed of 42 miles per hour. Besides being an engine for mining machines, the Caterpillar C-17520 also serves as an electric generator. In a single run, this engine can produce up to 4 megawatts of electricity, enough for 350 houses. Hmm, if the neighborhood head had a genset like this, no one would fear power outages. From giant trucks, let's move to the next biggest machine, the Big Boy 4014, an engine from the Union Pacific 4000 series train. This train series is very famous in Uncle Sam's country for connecting all the western to southern areas of America. The tracks span an incredible 32,122 miles, with an average speed of up to 70 miles per hour. With such a great distance, it's only natural that the locomotive used is gigantic. The length of the Big Boy 4014 used reaches 13.1 feet with a weight of 1.12 million pounds. Compared to the Garuda Wisnu Kenkana statue in Bali, Big Boy is 127 times heavier. In a day's journey, Big Boy can consume 56,000 pounds of coal and 25,000 gallons of water as fuel. Even though electric trains are widely used nowadays and are preferred for being environmentally friendly and quiet, for many people, locomotives are still the choice. Moving from vehicles to power generation, specifically wind power generation using wind turbines, China is leading in wind turbine size through Minyang Smart Energy. Their wind turbine, named MyCU 16024, is incredibly large. The height of its body reaches 866 feet, which is twice the height of the national monument, Monas, in Indonesia. Each blade of this turbine is 387 feet long with a rotation diameter of 794 feet. When rotating, the coverage of this wind turbine's rotation is equivalent to six soccer fields. With this size, it's no wonder that the electrical energy it can generate reaches 80,000 megawatts, capable of powering 20,000 homes non-stop for 25 years. Introduced in 2020, MICE 16024 is rumored to start operations in 2024. This is certainly good news for many residents in China. In addition to becoming the largest turbine in its class, MICE 16024 will also be one of the most environmentally friendly wind turbines. According to claims, it can last for 25 years and reduce up to 1.6 million tons of carbon dioxide, replacing coal-fired power plants. Now let's shift to discussing the Rocketdyne F-1, a rocket engine used in space exploration. This rocket engine has been developed since 1957 as the main propulsion engine for NASA's Saturn V mission. In that mission, the Rocketdyne F-1 had the task of lifting its payload as far as 36 miles above sea level, consuming 33,000 pounds of fuel every second. In terms of size, this engine is enormous. It's 17 feet high, 11.8 feet wide, and weighs 18,500 pounds. 
Although once a trend in space exploration, this type of rocket engine has been largely abandoned because more efficient engines are now available. One such example is SpaceX's Tesla-owned Raptor engine, which is much smaller. It's only 10.2 feet high, 4.3 feet wide, and weighs 3,500 pounds. In terms of thrust, the Raptor engine is also better with a thrust ratio of 107. One, while the much larger Rocketdyne F1 has a thrust ratio of only 94. One. Lastly, there's the Vitzilla RT-Flex 96C, the largest and most powerful engine in the world. In terms of size, this engine weighs 2,300 tons, is 88.6 feet long, and 44.3 feet tall, equivalent to a four-story building. With this size, the power output of the Vitzilla RT-Flex 96C we're discussing reaches 108,920 horsepower. Due to its immense size, it's operated by four teams. The first team is responsible for installing the engine, the second for running the engine, the third as engine condition inspectors, and the fourth for making spare parts. Yes, you heard that right. Unlike typical engines that have their own spare parts workshops, this engine has a spare part manufacturer within the ship. The Vitzilla RT-Flex 96C is usually used to power container ships like Maersk Line, capable of carrying up to 16,000 containers in one transport. Due to its size, even though the engine is gigantic, the speed it can generate is only 27 knots, or about 31 miles per hour. It makes one wonder if someday there's a giant airplane capable of carrying this engine, just how fast could it possibly fly?